I know obviously you're dealing with the injury, but how has the whole process been being here for real and it's kind of official? Oh uh, man, to officially be here, man, it's a blessing, um, you know, just for all the things I've been through, just, you know, going to high school, me being from Birmingham, me going to Alabama, and to finally to accomplish my dream. I'm just very happy and blessed to be here. Where, where are you with the injury, Mike? What is kind of your prognosis of when we may see you? Um, you know, well, right now, just rehabbing, you know. Um, we all on the same page, um, trying to get back quick as possible, but in a smart way. So that's kind of where we at right now. How are you able to start learning the playbook without being able to get on the field yet? Um, you know, well, you know, just the coaches do a good job of explaining everything and I just seen a lot of this stuff just by me playing um, at Alabama. So just kind of just using different words and putting them all together to be the same things. And um, they've been allowing me to go and do walkthroughs and, you know, just walk through and seeing it all to move around with the guys. There's a guy in front of me going behind them and walking through the play. So, I mean, I'm still getting mental reps and taking very a lot of advantage of them. I saw you when you were 34. That kind of like jarring for you after being one or was it like okay? Oh, uh, man, it's just a number to me, man. You know, just like I said, blessed to, blessed to even be here, man. What do you think about the way the people in New Orleans have already embraced you, I guess, on social media? Oh, uh, man, it's, it's love, man. I'm very thankful for the fans, man. I'm, I'm glad the fans happy with me being here. And um, it means a lot to me. And I just can't wait to go out there and perform for them and make them just as happy as they is for me. Has Mark Ingram or Roman Harper reached out to you, giving you any advice, talk about the organization city? Um, no, I haven't talked to Mark or um, Roman yet. I'm pretty sure I'll catch up with those guys pretty soon, though I know those guys very well, so I'm pretty sure I'll catch up with them soon. I don't know if you heard it, Tyron Matthew on RG3's podcast, and he described you as a polished player. Would you would you agree with that in terms of how you evaluate your own game that you come in? Um, um, yes, yeah, me, I feel like I'm a very polished player. Um, like you said, um, I feel like I, I understand my assignment. I understand my role, um, whether that's special teams, defense, no matter where it's at, I just understand my role and just um, very advanced, I would say. Gotcha. What, do you, what do you think of the, you know, as you see kind of the drills for the new special teams, the new kickoff rule, yeah. kind of what, what is your feeling about how that's going to factor in for you and, and the game in general? Um, well, um, I like the returner part of it, definitely. Um, I like the way it's set up as a returner, so um, very interested to see if they, if they have me um, back there taking reps. So, I mean, I can't do anything now, but soon we'll see. But, yeah, I like the way on the new kickoff rules, how it is as a returner. And even if I was on kickoff, I, like, I kind of like that. I kind of seen it today for the first time, so ready to, ready to go through some reps and see how I really feel about it. It's tough to stand on the sideline like I wanted to be out there. Man, obviously, this is a... Well, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say it's kind of tough because um, when the team's kind of out there, that's kind of when I go do my conditioning and my rehabbing. So I don't really physically see them out there practicing. So I can't say how I really feel about that.